What's up everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode. This is a baby. Yeah, I don't know what else you were expecting. Cooking Mama, one of the greatest game series to ever grace Nintendo's long history of games. Listen, I love the Cooking Mama games. The simple, easy to pick up gameplay, happy-go-lucky aesthetic of Mama and her many antics. These games were tailor-made with the DS and Wii in mind. You pick up the game and cook what's on the screen. You don't have to worry about cleaning up after yourself and you don't have to worry about your kid handling a knife. It's simple, it's easy, and it's Fun. It's perfect for somebody who doesn't have any knowledge in the kitchen whatsoever. Thankfully, I'm not the only one who thought this. 12 million copies sold across the entire series. I'd say that's pretty successful for third-party developer Office Create. They might have not been the Mario Karts or Smash Brothers, but these games were popular enough to have their own following. People still remember and have very fond memories of these titles. So where the f*** did the baby come from? I can think of a couple places. This is Babysitting Mama. Give me just a sec. Uh, one, um, two. Yep, this is definitely Babysitting Mama. This is one of the more out there titles on the Wii. I've seen this thing pop up in Goodwills and resale shops all the time, but I'd only been familiar with the mainline titles in the series. See, Cooking Mama was always more successful than originally thought. 2.6 million copies sold for a brand new IP. People loved the character Mama, the simple addictive gameplay, easy to follow recipes to give you all the satisfaction of cooking without any of the mess. So what do you do when you're a video game company in the mid 2000s with a new IP that blew up like the plague? You make 40 of them! Seven games in the series, all coming out within the span of four years from each other. While that's not completely terrible, I don't think the developers realized that the people buying Cooking Mama games were the parents of those who were actually playing the games. Look, we're not getting Cooking Mama 2, we already have Cooking Mama at home. Go fuck yourself. But you know what you don't have? Gardening Mama. Yeah, because that's what kids are into. I mean, I guess I can say this is a good idea. It's an interesting concept, at least. Personally, though, I just don't have the heart to go up to a minimum wage cashier here and ask for a cooking mama spin off. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm actually here to check out. Um, I wanted to get Zombie U today. Um, I'm also gonna get the crafting mama for the misses, but um, um, that's actually for me. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what this is. At least gardening mama makes sense. You can use the vegetables you grow in game and then transfer them over to cooking mama to cook with. Hypothetically, you can't actually do this in the game. But if you couldn't tell, Office Create was running really thin on ideas at this point. They needed a new idea, and they needed a new idea fast. So, as anybody else would do in a time of crisis, what does one do when you're all washed up and just need to add a little bit of excitement to your life? Yeah, I don't know what else you were expecting. Alright, I'll give it this. It's kind of cute. It also looks like it's gonna gut me like a fish in my sleep. The only question I have here is, why did Office Create decide to go with Babysitting Mama? Of all the things they could have decided on, why did they choose a baby? Well, you kinda don't think about having a baby. All right, let's go ahead and jump in here. You've got this cardboard box that's shaped like a crib. Not gonna lie, that's actually really cute. Be the greatest babysitter on your block. Tuck your Wii Remote into baby, connect your nunchuck, and watch your newborn come to life. Oh, is that all it takes? You can make anything into a baby. All right, enough fooling around. Let's go ahead and get this rubber band out from the baby, Gotta cut the umbilical cord. There we go! One baby fresh out the factory. I'm a dad now! Alright, let's just jump in here, why don't we? Huh. Okay, so the game starts out by explaining how to insert the Wii Remote into the baby. Place the Wii Remote facing down in the back of the baby. I feel like I'm gutting a fish right now. We've got a couple options here to choose from. It looks like you use the C button and the nunchuck for selecting your options. Uh, we're gonna go with babysitting. I kind of feel that's fitting. <laughs> looks like we get to meet the baby for the first time! Here we have Yuto. Are you a boy or a girl? Remember, please don't shake the baby. Alright, so first up it looks like we are rocking the baby. Isn't that kind of counterproductive to what I just said? It's pretty much self-explanatory, you rock the baby. It acts kind of like a rhythm game. Move the baby to the rhythm and get a medal based on how well you did. I promise this is working way better than I thought it would. Next up is feeding milk to the baby. I don't think I'm fully equipped to do this one. Oh, we're using a bottle! That makes so much more sense! I don't actually have a bottle on me, though. I'm sure a can of Grape Crush should work just fine. The game works surprisingly well. Usually, anytime I play a game on the Wii with slower controls, it always seems to be a bit finicky, but for a game completely based around motion controls, 
I'd say it's accurate about 80% of the time. It's not just accurate, it feels natural too. I don't have to wave the Wii controller like a madman, and when I do execute an action, it actually makes me feel like I'm holding a baby in my hands. Gameplay is scored on a metal system just like the other games. The better you perform, the more points you get. I'm sure that's how it works in the foster care system in real life. All right, it looks like it's time for a diaper change. Oh, damn it, how do I do this? All right, I think I got it. I swear being a single father is tough for a college dropout these days. All right, so fantastic news. I got it on the first try. What the, what the fuck is going on? Are we about to rush into the kitchen to play a game of cooking, mama? Okay, okay, that is genuinely funny. So it turns out this game actually seems to have some sort of story mode, if you consider a very, very loose, very generic storyboard, any type of story whatsoever. Be careful not to shake the baby. Jeez, I get it. You don't have to tell me twice, okay? Oh man, it looks like we just unlocked another baby. I'm more of a fan of Yuto though. He seems like this baby of mystery. I'll be right there. All right, this is the most fun game in the entire package. So you've got to swat these flies away from the baby and it genuinely has a bit of a challenge. You've got to move around the control stick and then shake the nunchuck to smack the flies. The last fly is so much faster than the rest. And yes, you can smack and wake up the baby. Oh, well, how do you get an umbrella stuck in the tree? I, I swear to God, this parenting thing is getting old quick. Oh, now we get to take pictures of the baby. Wait, what the hell? I thought we were actually taking pictures. I mean, we are, but I wanted like a snapshot mode. Fine, whatever. Remember, don't shake the baby. Hanky Tug, play tug of war with the baby. Oh, now we're playing hide and seek with the baby because that's what the baby needs. Trauma. <laughs> they're kind of cute when they're sleeping. Will you please shut the fuck? Oh, you're kidding me. Another umbrella stuck in a tree? Like, how in the hell do you get an umbrella stuck in the tree twice? Like, I get having it happen once, but how did you... All right, so that was Babysitting Mama, your first look into the absolutely terrifying world of children. While parenting might be one of the hardest jobs in the world, Babysitting Mama is the exact opposite. It's fun, it's easy to pick up, and to be honest, I had a whole lot of fun playing this title. My biggest complaint about the original Cooking Mama series was always the lack of instruction for many of the recipes. Maybe this is not knowing which button to press or how long to hold something for. But here in Babysitting Mama, the game actively does a much better job at explaining these actions. There's a lot more leeway as well and chances to succeed. I was genuinely surprised at the wide variety of mini games as well. I do feel like they lean a little bit too heavily into the comforting mini games, which are essentially just rocking the Wiimote back and forth. But some of the mini games like peekaboo and feeding multiple babies at once were extremely creative. I wouldn't really recommend this game if you're looking for an out of this world we experience, but with the inclusion of the baby, this is an absolute must have for the Wii if you're a collector. For a game all about learning the fundamentals of being a good parent, the baby actually comes in handy. Oh my God, I've lost the child. I like that. That was a good shot.